welcome to code switch today we are going to see how we can set up github copilot on our visual studio step by step so the first thing you need is a github account if you don't have just create it for that go to github.com and here you can click on the sign up button and once it's ready you can create a new github account secondly ensure you are already registered on the copilot waiting list if not go to github copilot page and you can register over here click on sign up and here you need to log in with your github account and there we go here you can see that i already have access step number 3 we need to install the copilot extension for our visual studio 2022 so go to the extensions and here we can search for the copilot if you can't find it ensure you are using the latest visual studio 2022 for this go to help and see the active version that you are using and here you can see i am not using a latest version so if you are behind the latest version, let's update Visual Studio 2022. Open the Visual Studio installer. And click on update. And now you can wait until the update completes. Once our update is done, search again for the Copilot extension and then you can install it. Once you are done with the installation, close your Visual Studio and continue with the prompt that finishes off the installation. Alright, the next step is to activate our Visual Studio Copilot extension. For that, open the Visual Studio again and wait for this message to pop up. Now a device code is now copied to your clipboard automatically. So just click OK and you will be redirected to the authorization page. Here simply right click and paste your authorization code. Click on continue and complete the authorization procedure. Now it's time to accept the telemetry times. So just wait until you see this automatic pop-up message. You can accept it by clicking on the yes. Now that we have done setting up GitHub Copilot, now let's explore it. Let's say we need to create a Base64 encode and decode function. Let's create a class for it and we can name it Base64 encode and decoder. Alright, now let's make the class public. Immediately the copilot identified what's our intention and shown suggestions. Press tab key so you can accept it. Alright, now that we have the whole class completed by the copilot, let's make the class static so we can call these functions directly from the program.cs. We can use it to encode and decode a text, maybe code switch. So let's see if it works properly. Yes, it does. So this is how Copilot can help us suggest what we need to be written. Now imagine you are not satisfied with its suggestions. If you want to see if there are any other ways to achieve the same result, there is also a way. Let's say we need to write a function that calculates days between two dates. And we are looking for different ways to write it. And once it suggests simply plus alt plus dot or alt plus comma key, to see various options. You can go through all the options and once you are sure about one of them, simply press the tab key again and that's it. So let's explore some more IDE features. Once you have set up Copilot, you can see a Copilot icon over here. Clicking on it will give you additional options to enable or disable the Copilot while Visual Studio is running. That's all for today. Happy coding.